This video has been long awaited. Uh, it has taken a lot of doing and waiting for packages and sampling and sniffing and wear testing. And I have got some great inspired dupes, whatever you want to call them, fragrances for some viral fragrances, high-end niche designer. Ooh, is it designer? Yes, designer. I was going to put it all in one video, but it's too many. It's too many perfumes, so I'm going to break it up into two parts. The first part is going to be dupes for mm, five K. Ali fragrances that we'll see how they do. And then I also have um, the second video, which will have, I think, six niche and designer fragrances. That one is going to be bomb. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. I do hope you consider subscribing. We have lots of fun over here and we smell good too. I have a goal of reaching 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I do hope you are enjoying the content and you do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are returning, hey girl. Okay, y'all, let's get right into the video. Up first is Kaylee's Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. This fragrance came out this year and set the world ablaze. This is a very, very sweet, bubblegummy, candied bottle of yummy goodness, okay? This definitely gives you a wearing experience. For me, it opens up super pink bubble gum like the hard one that you used to get for like two cent at the you know corner store that's how it opens up and that note continues to dry down and kind of sit in the background for me um it's not my favorite note in the fragrance but i actually really really enjoy this it becomes more candied it becomes a little thicker and um you know you get the praline in here there's white caramel it just gets better and better and better without in my opinion becoming cloying because i know that sometimes super sweet fragrances super gourmandy fragrances can you know upset people's stomach or give them headaches and this ain't that for me so i really really enjoy this fragrance i just have a five mil decant of the paris corner kahir uh confection which is a inspired slash dupe for kaylee vanilla candy rock sugar so what are my thoughts on this fragrance i've sprayed it on the tester here so this is completely dried down i also have the vanilla candy here this is completely dried down as well you guys these fragrances are very 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 similar now i will say in the opening the kaylee fragrance the puff and bloom of that um bubble gum note is more intense more strong ever present it's it's loud like it lasts for about 45 minutes to an hour for me um i don't get that in the uh kahir which I actually enjoy. I don't get it as much. I'm, I'm not saying that the note doesn't exist, but it's not as loud and prominent in the fragrance. This uh, fragrance has pear, whipped cream, vanilla, marshmallow. It's really, really good. It's super sweet, super gourmand. Now there is a little bit more of a brightness, I would say, in the um, Kaylee fragrance on this tester strip. But they are very, very similar. Now the difference is here. Again, like I said, Kaylee opens up with a little more bubble gum. But as far as the wearing experience, they're about the same. I would probably give it a 90 to 95% like the same. The longevity though, the Kahir is here. She is like almost twice as long as Kaylee. Like it was almost mind blowing to me because when I wore it, you know, I would smell the Kaylee, then I would smell the, you know, uh, Paris Corner. And then from time to time, I would go in in op opposite order. I would smell the Paris Corner and then the Kaylee and, you know, see if I could smell differences. And there are subtle ones. 
Um, Kaoli absolutely has that vanilla 28 DNA in there. And I think that's going to be what sets all of her fragrances apart from these inspired fragrances because they just can't dupe that. It's like the hot sauce that, you know, Kaoli has. She put that on everything. And so it gives the Kaoli fragrances a little something more special and a little something more rich and refined. Um, but the longevity, the longevity though, the Kaoli, mm, she was given four hours maybe. Um, and I didn't spray a ton. It was just on skin um, that I was testing these. And so the Paris Corner outperformed 100%. So if you are looking for something long lasting um, that is inspired by the vanilla candy rock sugar and you don't wanna spend that 138 on a full bottle or even the 100 on a 50 mil, who's gonna know unless you tell them. And like I said, there are those subtle differences like in the dry down, um, the Kahir doesn't get that deep brown sugar richness that Kaoli has, but it still mimics the fragrance pretty doggone close so it's a good it's a good dupe it just is it it just is up next is our beloved kaoli yum pistache gelato <sighs> this came out i want to say maybe last year also sent the girls in a tizzy this is so good so stinking good there's pistachio hazelnut sweet rum whipped cream and marshmallow and cotton candy and you would think that this would be super cloying but it's not like the rum in here really comes through and just provides some depth to, to this fragrance it's so good and you also get the little nuttiness from the hazelnut this is yummy <laughs> there's a perfect name for this this is absolutely yummy i have two inspired fragrances for yum pistache the first is affection by latafa i've had this for a while this is on the chopping block for a declutter only because i just don't know that i need all of these in my collection and then this is the new one so i have paris corner pistachio so these both are inspired by the kaoli yum pistache i have worn this. I've worn it in the summertime. I think that it is a good dupe. Um, this one I've only worn a couple of times and it's kind of been as the um, season has changed, you know, as we're going into the fall. So I have thoughts on both of these. Kahir is a sweet and nutty fragrance. There is ice cream in the top. There's pistachio, hazelnut, bergamot, rum in this fragrance. In the base, there's marshmallow, uh, whipped cream. So there's a lot of similar notes um, to Yum Pistache. So I have sprayed this on the tester. It smells like Yum Pistache. I'm not going to lie. It does give that vibe. But on the tester, um, it is kind of a little lighter. So it doesn't have as much richness as the Yum Pistache, in my opinion, on the tester but she's giving the vibes. So to me, it on the tester, it smells a little more fleeting, if you will. It's almost as though um, Yum Pistache has a little more rum. And of course that Kaoli hot sauce of the Vanilla 28 or just some of those same notes because it almost smells like it has a brown sugar note in it. So this one, in my opinion, on the tester, doesn't give what Kaoli gives. Now on skin, she's giving closer. She's giving closer. So it smells more similar on skin than um, on the testers, obviously. And so it the way that it develops on my skin makes me feel like this is a closer dupe than to Yum Pistache than Affection is. Um, but I will also say, it never reaches that level of a deep dry down that Kaoli reaches. So like I said on the tester, there's a richness. There is a richness that I smell on my skin. There is a depth that I smell from that brown sugar, from that um, rum, from whatever is in the DNA of the Yum Pistache. 
This is very close though. Very, very close. Now I will also say, just like the confection, um, Kier confection, the performance here out performs K.A. Lee. Now the Young Pistache, in my opinion, is a better performer longevity wise than the Vanilla 28 Rock Sugar, okay? So it has better performance, but Paris Corner still outperforms K.A. Lee. She still outperforms Yum pistache. It just lasts longer. And when I went to go in to smell, because I was, you know, sniffing all day, I got to the point to where I could no longer smell Kaylee on my skin. And it almost, you know, how it's like, no, this ain't true. Maybe my I'm nose blind. Like I've been sniffing too much. Let me, you know, go outside, get some fresh air. Let me sniff a piece of tissue. Let me sniff something. Um, or some fresh air. And it was actually true. I couldn't smell it anymore. It wasn't, it was no longer on my skin. And I purposely sprayed in areas that um, would not, I wouldn't have to like wash my hands or whatever. So I sprayed, you know, on my shoulder or I should say on my shoulder. So here I kind of doused it on both sides and I would go in and sniff. And on the other side, I would do the same thing. And on the Kaylee side, after about, mm, I want to say four to five hours, she was damn near gone. And this was still performing like, you know, a midday. I had just sprayed it on and only had it on for half of the wearing experience. So these uh, Paris Corner dupes, in Inspire Fragrances, are kicking butt with the longevity for sure. Even though they're not one-to-one -one matches, in my opinion. But the longevity is... 11 out of 10. Now, Affection by Latafa. This was the first inspired fragrance that I got for um, K. Ali. Like I said, it is, was a good dupe until Kahir came into the collection. I, I'm not going to lie. It smells like, it still smells similar. It just smells less close compared to Kahir, Kahir uh, Pistachio. Um, but if I never smelled Kahir Pistachio, I would still say that this is a good dupe. So if you have this, I wouldn't say go out and get Kahir. It's not necessary. It's just a step closer to the original. Um, I also would say Kahir does outperform this. Um, but you know, not by much. We're splitting hairs at this point. So the notes in here are, of course, there's hazelnut, pistachio, there's black currant at the top. This one lists um, some lactones in the note breakdown on Fragrantica, which I did not see on the um, Kahir note breakdown. I don't know if that's um, what's attributing to the fact that it doesn't last as long um, because we know that, you know, super sweet, lactonic, vanillic fragrances don't always have the longest longevity. I would say if you are trying to decide between these two and which one to get because you're not, you know, wanting to spend your hard earned money on K. Ali, I would say Kahir Pistachio, 100%. This is not a bad inspired fragrance whatsoever. If you have this, you have a good one. You absolutely do. Don't go out and buy this unless you're running out and you want to re-up, re-up on this one. But if you have this, wear it, wear it loud, wear it proud. Who's going to know? They not going to know, okay? So those are my thoughts on the inspired fragrances as they relate to Kaylee. Lee yum pistache up next is Kaylee's vanilla royale sugared patchouli i have talked about this on my channel several times so i will not spend too much time on um the inspired fragrance for this one i love this fragrance this is like my part of my top five this fragrance has rum creme brulee sugar royal oud it is beautiful it's magical it is going to be perfect for the holiday season this may be my christmas scent i don't know but i love this she is syrupy she is like dripping oh brown sugar just oh my goodness creme brulee dessert my mouth is watering just thinking about it 
there's a little bit of spiciness. It is divine. This is divine. The Inspire fragrance that I have is from Paris Corner as well. This is December Vanilla. This fragrance has a lot of the same notes and accords. Rum, there's jasmine, vanilla, leather, rose, brown sugar, amber oud, all of the good things. This is a phenomenal inspired fragrance. This smells just like the original. Now, I will say nothing beats the original, but the original, there are slight nuances. And I mean ever so slightly. I would say that if they put two cups of brown sugar, candied brown sugar, then they put one cup and three fourths in here. Okay, like when I say the nuances are so small, they are very, very, very small. Now, this has no issues with longevity and performance. I will say that Kaylee actually outperforms December Vanilla um, with longevity-wise and strength and um, performance. But, baby, when I tell you, they will never know. If you have one December Vanilla and you're trying to dupe her, nobody's gonna know just overspray her she will give you the thickness she will give you the depth she was going to give you all of the feels okay so if you have her you don't need her if you running out of her and don't got the coin get her okay this is a phenomenal dupe i want to say this is like 40 dollars. i got mine on amazon this is a beautiful bottle it's great presentation it would make a great gift for someone that you know would love this scent profile so uh, she's a good one. December Vanilla by Paris Corner. Up next is Eden Sparkling Lychee. I'm running super low, you guys, but I do have a full bottle on its way thanks to the Sephora VIB sale. Um, at either rate, top notes are lychee, black currant, of course, red apple. There's rose and violet in the mid sugar and vanilla in the base along with a few other notes including amber and sandalwood this is a beautiful fragrance it's very flirty very playful this is the picture of spring if you ask me or a cool summer day this would make a great fragrance for a young person um you know maybe a high schooler or something they're just getting into you know sniffs and sprays and things like that this is perfect for them the inspired fragrance that i have is also by paris corner it's kahir fusion this is a fun fresh fruity fragrance as well there's apple lychee black currant at the top as well there's jasmine rose Vanilla, all of the same notes are pretty much the same in the breakdown on this fragrance compared to Kaylee. And I have worn both of these. I've given them the same wear test. I've sprayed on skin. I've sprayed in the air. I've sprayed on tester. I've let it dry down. I think that this is not as close of a dupe as Kahir Pistachio is to Yum Pistache. So I would probably give this probably like 85%. It's definitely in the same vein. It's in the same family. These are probably like, mm, I would say half sisters. <laughs> you know, either y'all got the same mom or the same dad. They definitely have a lot of similarities to each other. I would say the difference for me is that the Kaylee fragrance almost smells a little bit more brighter and airier and um, a little more fresh and clean. There's nothing dirty about this fragrance. I'm just trying to give you a description um, of it and the airiness that I actually feel and smell, I should say. But I mean, you definitely get the lychee, you get the apple, all of the things. It's sweet, fun, fresh. Um, but I think the lychee and the sparkling quality in Kaylee is just a bit more pronounced, present, and louder. Neither one of these perform all that great, if you ask me. Probably about four hours are what you're going to get for, for either one of them. Um, again, you can overspray, spray your clothes. It's going to last longer, but, but on skin, these are going to be three and a half, four hour wears. They're definitely something you have to top up. Um, so just 
be prepared for that. Um, but this, in my opinion, is a nice dupe. So if you are considering picking up Eden Sparkling Lychee, I would definitely say um, this is an okay inspired fragrance. It absolutely is. I wouldn't turn you off from it, but it's not the one-to-one -one or even close to one-to-one -one like the Kahir Pistachio and the Yum Pistachio are, or even the December Vanilla is to um, Vanilla Royale Sugar Patchouli. So in my opinion, if you have it, you great. Use it, wear it, all of the things. If you're interested, I would say get the original. It's a little, um, they're both very fruity fragrances. Um, I would just say get the original. If you don't have the coin, get this. Absolutely get this. It's going to be close enough but they're not as close in my opinion as the other ones are. So this is Kahir Fusion Inspired Fragrance by Kaali Eden Sparkling Lychee. Okay, you guys, take it easy on me, okay? This is controversial. It's um, a cold favorite, a loved fragrance. This is the Wedding Silk Santal. This fragrance just came back in stock. It also just became permanent in the Kaali lineup, so it will be accessible for the masses, okay? Let me read to you the notes of this fragrance. The main notes are listed on the back, but I'm gonna read to you what's on Fragrantica because it has a little bit more. Um, so in the top, there's Champagne, Freesia, and Black Currant. In the mid, there's Nectarine, Praline, Jasmine Orange Blossom, and May Rose. And in the base, there is Vanilla, Sugar, Sandalwood, Musk, Amberwood, and Oat Moss. This is a beautiful fragrance. It absolutely opens up very sparkly. You get the freesia. It's floral, sparkly. It does smell like an effervescent glass of champagne like if you were to you know have a little flute up to your nose or your mouth as you're drinking you can smell that sparkly airy floral quality um in your drink you smell that in this particular fragrance now you do get nectarine as it opens up even though it's listed and in the mid and for me on my skin i get the praline oh my goodness in the mid and all the way to the dry dry down and to the deep dry down. That is what has me in love with this fragrance is that praline note. And I don't think that any other uh, fragrance house does it quite like Kaali because they also have, I think in the rock sugar, there's like white praline and it's, it's prominent. It's something that's identifiable and signature to this fragrance house. So I love it. This fragrance definitely gives you a wearing experience because it opens up very, very floral, juicy, sparkly, almost like a, a celebration when you pop a bottle of champagne, you know, and you have that woo moment, this gives you that. And then it kind of just settles down into something very, very beautiful and something to be celebrated. Now this fragrance, I don't know if it's actually a dupe or not. We will find out how we feel, but I have some thoughts. This is by Latafa. It's The Kingdom Woman. I'm going to read to you the note breakdown of this fragrance because it's not necessarily the most similar but there's some similarities. So in the top, there is pear, cassisus, and peony. In the mid, there's tonka, praline, and jasmine. And in the base, there's vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and amber. So this fragrance does not open up as sparkly as Kaali does. But you do get a sweet, pear notes. So it's not a juicy nectarine. It's a sweet pear that is ripe. So I wouldn't say it's like syrupy or anything like that, but it's definitely definitely ripe. And if you touch it too much, the skin will come off. So it's ripe. It's ready to go. It's perfuming the fragrance. 
And for me, I get that um, pretty much throughout the wearing experience, even though it kind of dries down a little bit. It's not front and center as it is in the opening. Now, the praline in here is not the same as Kaoli, but it's similar. And I think that is what is drawing people to say that this is potentially a dupe for the Silk Santal. Now, I will say longevity wise, she is a lasting, outlasting Kaoli, 100%. As far as closeness, I'm gonna say 75 to 80% closeness. Like when I sprayed this, and smelled it initially, I'm like, mm, I don't know. But as I continued to wear it and it continued to dry down, it got closer and closer and closer. So the opening is not the same. It's not the same. It still is, um, it's fruity. It's a little fresh um, and sweet, but it's not as sparkly and effervescent and, um, celebratory as the Kaoli fragrance is in the opening. But as it dries down, that praline note, that sugared vanilla uh, wearing experience that you get, it becomes close. It really, really does. And on my skin, I couldn't actually believe it. Um, now, are is this a dupe? I can't say 100%. I honestly, if I had to say, if I had to say, I would say no. I would say that these are probably distant cousins. Um, they're distant cousins with somebody that got strong genes. So either the mama's genes are strong and everybody look like the mama, the grandmama, great grandmama, everybody kind of look alike. That's how we vibing, okay? Or the daddy genes strong and it's like, oh, you can't deny that baby. Or you can't deny that person belonging in your family type genes. That's how close they are as far as being probably in the same scent family. But a dupe, I would say no. I would say they close cousins. Like they probably best cousins. They like each other. They be spending the night at each other's house, all of the things. But is this an actual dupe? I, I just, right now I can't say it is. I've had this for probably mm, about a good week and a half going on in two weeks. I've worn it a couple of times. I've sprayed it out the bottle. I've smelled it. I've sniffed it. Um, and they do give me similar feels, but they're not, it's not a one-to-one. -one. It's not 100%. So I would say that if you have this, you don't need this. Mm -mm. Not at all. If you have this, you still need this. <laughs> You still need her. You still need her because she's different. She really is. The opening is prettier. Um, and I'm sure on your body chemistry, the wearing experience may be a little bit different. But I do think you will smell the similarities in the fragrance, but it's not a dupe. So this is, I would say not a dupe, but very close. And this is Latafa's Kingdom Woman. If I had to say which ones were the absolute closest, I would say Paris Corner did their thing with these. December Vanilla and uh, Royal Sugared Patchouli did they thing. I would also give an honorable mention to Paris Corner with regards to Kahir uh, Pistachio with Yum Gelato Pistachio. I know I'm mixing up the names, but you know what I'm saying. Um, this real close too. This is like first runner up in in the ranking so Paris Corner is doing a phenomenal job in these inspired fragrances with Kaoli all righty you guys so that is it for the video today drop me a line down below let me know if you have any of these what you think about my comparisons um have you tried Kingdom Woman what do you think in regards to the comparison with the Wedding Silk Santal. Do you smell any similarities? Let me know down in the comments. Alrighty, you guys. And with that being said, make sure that you are being kind to yourself. Make sure you are being kind to others. And peace and love, y'all. The world needs it. Bye.